Hey guys, it's Austin back with another YouTube video. Another very, very, very exciting video because today, finally got him. Completed the FNAF set. Got Bonnie the Bunny. Finally got him. Just so happy. So excited to get this stuff out here in a few weeks. Had a little bit of trouble with some rattlesnakes outside some the sheds out like near where I store my inflatable. So I'm going to deal with them this weekend or sometime soon. And hopefully have more than just the FNAF set out. Like I said, Foxy will be probably more than likely used on Halloween night. But the main Fazbear band, Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy, will all be out for the Halloween display. But without further ado, let's fire Bonnie up for this unboxing review. See here. Okay. Hook him in. In. Slow starting fan, just like Foxy. Let's get him all up. I think he's going to be very, very tall. And I'm also worried for the things that are around him that he might knock over. Come on, Bonnie. Let's go here. Ooh. Sandbag blue uh, unstable. Let me try to stay warm real quick. Bonnie, come on, man. Yeah, so-so. Well, guys, here he is, the man of the hour, Bonnie the Bunny. He almost looks a little bit taller than Foxy, to be honest. Like, I'd have to probably blow them up beside each other to see how they look, and I probably will eventually do that. Like I said, I've been having some storage issues with, like, some snakes being around the storage facility and everything where I store my other ones, but... Yeah, if worse comes to worse, at least I'll have the FNAF set out. But I kind of like to have them all. <laughs> but Bonnie the Bunny, man, I gotta say, this thing is spectacularly tall. I mean, look at them ears. Like, they're only a few feet below my ceiling. This is just absolutely insane. Man, guys, this thing is just going to be one of the milestones for my FNAF display. Hoping to get some more light effects on me, like the new Ghost Fire projectors and have to have, hope to have them very up and running soon. Teeth have those nice little dots in them. I like how they did his teeth compared to some of the others like Freddy and Foxy which had the shuffles. And he has some very very nice black dilated eyes with those beautiful eyebrows we all know him as in the game. Very dapper bow tie. Arm length looks pretty good. Head rotation is a little bit slow like Foxy's because Freddy and Chica's have a little bit of a faster rotator. But these guys looking around you will not, you won't be really able to probably tell the difference if you're just looking at them from a distance. I mean, these guys, I am just so glad I got to pick up this set. I mean, it's been one of the biggest sets I've ever wanted to get if I ever made inflatables for these guys. Big FNAF man, big FNAF man myself. Uh, his feet look pretty gigantic too, man. Them feet, they just look like monster feet almost. Kind of folded up because his sandbags tend to bog him down a little bit at the feet and the legs tend to be a little bit of a foldy sensation too but he looks pretty darn good i will say had a lot of expectations riding on this guy and he looks pretty good at least from what i can tell don't have base stakes like foxy does unfortunately though but for the purposes that i'm going to use in my display being that i've heard the motors can be a little bit more touchy and such i think that i'm going to take these guys in and out every night to keep them out of water and everything i'll just unhook them from the regular display and then we'll lay them over here somewhere in like I think the foyer or something and then we'll just carry them back out during the day and just hook them all back up. I think it'll be a better process overall. Keep the motor safe and keep these very, very, very high dollar things safe at least because I will say these things, if you look for them right now, they have a high dollar price. It wasn't easy getting them for sure. But let me turn the lights off. I forgot to do that in the Foxy video and show you how he looked like with the lights off, but you can tell pretty good from his lights that they look pretty good nuts. And huh. on the camera, he kind of lights up a little bit blue, but he is still purple bunny because me looking at him right now and you guys looking at him on the camera looks very, very different perspective and such. But I gotta say, I think he'll look really, really good. I think that he might need some ghost flame since his is like more of like the standard LED lighting compared to like Bonnie and. I mean, compared to like Chica, Freddy, and Foxy, which have the like the little rope lights and everything, which I think are going to be a little bit of a downside, but I'm going to try to buy me a Ghost Flame projector that they're selling at Lowe's, and I'm thinking I'm going to put that on him this year, kind of give him a little more vamp like I did for the Grinch last year. 
But overall, very happy with this guy. Had a lot of ambitions for that FNAF set. And surely the main free will look really, really good. Got some other plans for Foxy that I'm not going to reveal to you guys right now because it's a secret. Let's watch him stare over his, his shoulder at us. <laughs> well, show you what he comes with. He comes with the traditional stakes and tethers. Uh, they went with the, the the cheap ones on him, unfortunately. They aren't the really good ones, unfortunately. Bonnie does have the cheap set, so... That was a kind of a shame, but the tethers themselves look okay just looking at them, but... The instructions, which everybody says are useless, and then... They didn't come with any of the fulfilled cards, because this came from a toy company, Toy NK, off the internet. I believe that them and Calabunga Costumes and a couple people were selling them, but like I said, I... Waited a little bit late in the game to get him as well. Show you a little bit more about his box as well. Uh, Bonnie standing and proud and tall at seven feet high, almost was about like eight foot the way that he was towards the ceiling. Then Bonnie inflatable, gone inflatable, Five Nights at Freddy's, Morbid Enterprises. His head does turn. He lights up. Seven foot tall. And is very very happy to say I have now officially completed the FNAF set. Got a lot of ambitions for this display this year, guys. I don't think you guys will be disappointed. I'm really going to try to impress you guys as much as I possibly can. Well, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.